Oh, I'm just about to reveal, uh, which is kind of kind of neat because it's partially uh, with the um, who or what am I in uh, World War One, the uh, History Heroes trivia that we do every week in the live stream. And look at it, look who it is, Sheremy. How did I get Sheremy, dear friend? Uh, the passenger pigeon uh, that um, is so famous that actually um, got severely injured brought this message. I'm going to go and take a look and see if there's something written in that message. Um, you know, a hanging by a tendon ended up uh, being sent back um, to the United States to, rec uh, you know, to try to see if they could um, recover the bur uh, poor Cherami, who I do believe, if they, I find out later on, I think is was actually a male, but for a long, long time they thought Cherami was a female. Uh, personally sent off by um, General Pershing back to the United States. Um, ended up not recovering, um, is, but now you can go and see uh, Cherami in the Smithsonian, and also this beautiful pin. Who did I get these things from? Oh my gosh. I, first off, I'm just absolutely astounded that, that anybody would even do things like this. Uh, so I'm like unbelievably grateful. You have no idea. This, uh, these two objects come from um, uh, the duo uh, Gamers with Coffee, uh, Ashley and Greg. Um, they just uh, went to, I think, the March to Victory um, uh, gaming session uh, just a little while ago, and, and I guess it was uh, in Kansas City, and um, they took a visit over there, and uh, when they were there, they were like, hey, we were thinking about you. Holy smokes, for someone to be thinking about me, like I'm just absolutely astounded. Um, so I'm like unbelievably grateful, like just absolutely thankful. Thank you so much. Um, Let's go take a look on the note in a minute. I'm going to show you the pin. It's a nice looking bird. Um, and it's just such a weird, uh, kind of like a reciprocal thing. And it was almost like metaphorical, I think, in a way. When I'm like, oh my God, the passenger pigeon, uh, Cher Ami, comes back. And this is based on a lot because uh, Greg on uh, from um, Gamers with Coffee was uh, watching one of my shows. Uh, was like really blown away by the whole little story of Cher Ami. Actually so much so uh, later on when I was on uh, listening in on one of his live shows, he was talking about it. I was like, what in the world? And he was remembering uh, bits and pieces. I was like, wow. Um, and I'm just going to say this. And yet uh, uh, the other connections was after that, when I found that out, um, he ended up um, inspiring me to pick up this book. Um, the Cher Ami Comes Through, uh, Heroic Carrier Pigeon of World War One. And um, this is going to be the round two um, prize or whatever. And look at that. There's the. There's the. I don't know if you can see it, but you can actually see the. Uh, they popped it on the right on the proper leg and the whole nine yards. It's awesome. Um, so that's going to be the round one uh, prize uh, for the history heroes. Uh, who are what am I? In World War One for my live streams. And I was. So it's just kind of neat that it's almost like the pigeon came back. Uh, and yeah, and I've been, well, you can see here, this is my, well, it's because it's sticky. Uh, I couldn't get the stick off the card, so I ended up putting, uh, making my own sticker and just put my old I Love Cavalry thing here. I've been a member for um, about a year and a half now, and I uh, actually got it on my birthday as a gift. So, and it was the very, very first time um, that uh, I ended up, when I realized uh, what the Great War was doing to my life, um, that was the first uh, group I signed up with. And now I have to figure out where I'm going to be. I've been putting pins on my wallet. Here's my wallet here. Actually, I just realized how much uh, the Western Front Association, that's another group I belong to, uh, is I can barely read the writing. And then another group I belong to is the uh, Canadian War Museum. And so I'm going to have to, well, you know what? That's a big monster. I think I'll pop you on the back. Yeah, that looks good. But uh, I, like having, I like having them around all the time. Okay, let's take a look at the... Um, See if there's a note in here. Probably isn't, but you never know. You never know. Stick. Oh my gosh, I did see stuff written. Holy F. Hold on here. Yeah. All right. Hold on. This is just, anyways, it's just been incredible. This is just this whole journey, the way that what's been going on with the Great War and everything, it's just been incredible. Um, okay. Let's see. Oh, if it's private, then I'm not going to... Oh, it is private. Um, so I'm not going to read it out. Uh, I should have. But uh, they're so... All i got to say is... Should I read it? Is it such a bad thing to read? If it is a, not a bad thing to read, um, then I will... Um, 
if it's not a bad thing to read, you're gonna get the video. If <laughs> if uh, if um, if it's something like super personal, then forget it. I'm not going to do it. I'm so glad I was uh, smart enough to go and take a look at the message because otherwise I wouldn't have got this. I would have felt like a tit. So um, here, I'm gonna put you here because I don't. Uh, this is Nanguaya. Uh, we really appreciate all you uh, all you have done to teach us about World War One and about the carrier pigeon, aka uh, messenger pigeon. So we saw this messenger pigeon and thought of you. Oh my gosh. So now you have your very own pigeon. You're damn right I do. And I'm not kidding you. I swear to God, earlier in the week, I was thinking more of like a budgie or something, but I was thinking about having a bird's, um, a bird like uh, flying around in the house and to drive my cat nuts. But uh, that's probably not a good idea for the bird. Uh, so um, I, in case of emergency that you need coffee, send an SOS with this pigeon. Fantastic. Oh my God, I love it. He knows I, I'm a coffee freak. And uh, gamers with coffee as well, so well done. Yeah, I guess we'll just have this, uh, yeah, a perfect, a perfect little conduit back and forth from your place to mine. Um, oh, man. Now, when you get this, uh, remember, this pigeon, well, this, let's give him a name. We will call him Cherami the Second. Is a long way, okay, uh, is a long way from home and will need a good new home to rest. Oh, man, you guys are amazing. Wow, must, uh... Wow, must have the average pigeon flew about 10 miles from trench to tent, trench, and that had a U.S. march and on their primary flight feathers. Now, with Cherami the second, he does not, because he is undercover, uh, an undercover pigeon. Oh, sorry, I'm not reading things properly. But I hope you're getting the, come on, man, get the gist here. Uh, so homing pigeons have been long played in, a, oh my god, they're giving me way more, uh, later. They're, get, they're teaching me, which is awesome. Uh, so that's that's the whole point of this to be honest with you. It's just the interaction uh, so um, Homing pigeons have long played an important role in war due to their homing ability speed and altitude They were often used as military messengers So we have decided to try and make him faster by having him ingest two shots of espresso Which has 63 milligrams of caffeine in it just one shot. So we gave him two we should get you this letter uh, lightning quick, and it did, man, it did, con uh, considering when you did uh, tell me it was coming. Man, I'll try to do something like that. It's just the glare. Maybe if I do it this way, it's not so glary. Uh, this, uh, this carrier pigeon was genetically modified by gamers with coffee to fly further and faster than all the rest. So we leave you uh, with this letter that we hope you enjoy. Take uh, good care of Cherami the second because his name means dear friend in French. Thank, thank you. Huh, and we consider you a dear friend. Oh my God. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you again. Sincerely, Gamers with Coffee, Ashley and Greg. I'm going to end up crying. So uh, yeah, thank you so much. I don't know what else to say. I hope you guys are having a great time.